Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can secure your Zoom meetings and make sure that everyone that enters the meeting is supposed to be there. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, Zoom has been getting a lot of negative press. Now, I want to make sure that everyone knows how to keep their Zoom meetings safe and secure. And since a couple of recent updates, this has now become even easier than before. First things first, let's open up Zoom. Now, when you're in Zoom, the first thing you'll want to do is dive into your settings. So we're going to go to the top right here and click on that cogwheel. Now, these are our general settings, but the ones we want to be looking at are the advanced settings. So make sure that you click on view more settings and this will open up the web interface. Now here in the web interface, you now have a number of additional features available. Now, previously, these had to be toggled on manually. Since the update, Zoom has now enabled these by default, but it's important for us to be aware of this so we can keep all our Zoom meetings secure and safe. We can avoid Zoom bombing altogether by just a couple of simple steps. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to scroll down and we're going to set up that every single Zoom meeting needs to have a personal ID. That's important because that means that every Zoom meeting will be unique and then people will require this ID in order for them to join this. In order to make sure that this is toggled on, check the setting right here. We're also going to scroll down further and we are going to require a password. Now requiring a password for your meeting means that now people not only need that link to the meeting, they'll also need a password sort of as a key to enter the meeting. Now this does not prevent Zoom bombing because if people leak that link and that password, strangers can still enter your Zoom meeting. Now in order to prevent that, there's a number of other things that we can toggle on just to make sure that our meetings are secure. Now you can see there's a number of additional settings here and these are all talking about passwords. So make sure they're all toggled on. That way you will always require a password in order for you to join a meeting. Now the most important thing to prevent Zoom bombing or strangers entering your meeting is having a meeting room. Now a meeting room is where people will be welcomed but they're not let into the meeting. You have to manually let them in as the host. Now, when you have multiple hosts, every single host can let people in. So make sure that this is clearly communicated. If you're hosting a meeting with two or three hosts, make sure everyone is aware of this setting, that you know about the meeting room and that you're only admitting people into the Zoom meeting that are allowed to enter. So let's go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And here you will see the option for a meeting room. Go ahead and toggle this on as well. Now, an additional layer of security can be added by scrolling back up and also making sure that the toggle switch of joining before the host is not turned on. That means that your students cannot enter the waiting room or the meeting before the host is there. That's just an extra layer of security. Now let's jump into a meeting and let's have a look at some additional things we can do in order to keep our meeting safe. So I'm going to now close the setting window and I'm going to start a new meeting. And there we go. We are now in the Zoom meeting and what you'll see immediately is that at the bottom we now have an additional button. Now since the update we have the security button. So go ahead and click on that security button. Now once you click on that security button you'll see the same option we've mentioned just now and that's that waiting room make sure that the waiting room is enabled. You can double check it here just to make sure that your meeting is secure. Now, once everyone starts coming in and you let them in manually, when all your students are present, there's one more thing that you can do to make sure nobody else joins the meeting. And that's here, locking this meeting. Now, once you've locked the meeting, nobody else can join and you are fully protected from strangers entering that meeting room. So three main things you can do to keep your Zoom meeting secure. Number one, make sure that every meeting has a unique ID and a password attached to it. You can double check that in your settings. Number two is always have the waiting room enabled. Having a waiting room means that people cannot just enter your meeting. They enter the waiting room and then you have to manually let them in. And number three, once all your attendees are present, lock the meeting down so nobody else can enter that meeting. These three steps will make sure that every single Zoom meeting you hold with your classroom is perfectly secure and not a single Zoom bomb will take place. I hope you found this helpful. For even more tips and tricks on Zoom, click on the playlist that you are seeing on the screen right now. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.